Got a couple of big names going head to head in Louis handball today. We certainly have big Sam Draper, the Ruckman from the Bombers, and Taylor Giray from the Bulldogs, who looked up at the board just before and said, yeah. "Gee, Libba, I only had 64. He must have been off that day." We have to inform him that was his old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure Tony Senior will be thrilled to, yeah. uh, to learn that. Yeah, or both very good handballers. Yeah. Just the Senior was a bit off that day. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Well, you well, never 60, told him that when he was. You never told him that when he was here. Yeah. You were too busy. Well, remember that time in New York? When we... <laughs> you, know, you never Stop told him that. Touching me. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Big guy. You've been out with the boxes and you come back very tough, haven't you? That's what he told me. Anyway, to can do. we talk to our guests? Yes, uh, big game the other night. Uh, the Cats, they, uh, we did some analysis before about the fact that they ring Darren Norton every time. You go down their end, they had yeah. so much space, but uh, at your end, Ford 50, it was very, very crowded. Yeah, it was just, a, I guess, a tough night for us in our forward entries, as you spoke about. That's sort of naturally the way they defend to get some extra numbers back and um, utilise their sort of tall marking players, um, intercept players, and they, yeah, to their credit, played a really good game down there. So, yeah, deserved winners. And obviously, Jezza Cameron has a night out. He certainly does. Uh, now, uh, we've got some of your brilliance here from uh, Friday night. I think we've, we've got that, have we not? So, uh, some stuff of Taylor. Oh, well, oh there I just told about something on Friday. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I'm you sure. stitched him up here. Oh, no, I well, haven't. Here it is here. Here it is here. We just oh, not before. before. Yeah. That's right. No, Speak up what, what happened last night that we need to know about? There's a segment rolled about an old Hawthorne ad campaign, and it was a it was a horror. Oh, <laughs> a horror. We'll right, okay. We'll you can probably yeah find that later. It's, we'll look for that. It's a shocker. One. Now, uh, uh, all right. While we go digging for that, um, first of all, uh, your biggest highlight is yet to come. Of course, you're about to become a dad. Yeah. So uh, Jade's just over 28 weeks now. Um, yeah, everything's going really well. Bub's. Uh, yeah, that's the nose and lips people oh, really pick up on yeah. that. Yeah, that's yeah. a bit more normal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, she's doing well and due uh, late August, which ends up being the bye week. But oh. Pre-finals bye, so hopefully the timing's on. Oh, yeah, because you don't want it to go over. Otherwise, no. it might just... If you're well, I'm, I'm thinking we're making finals. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but, yeah uh, exactly. Yeah, so at this stage, uh, late August, pre-finals bye. Now, I know the guy's got a, a, a plethora of questions for Sam. I just need to ask you one about Bailey Smith. What was the mood like afterwards? What was his... Was he remorseful afterwards? I'm talking about the headbutt. Yeah, I honestly didn't know it happened on the night. Um, I was on the bench. And then even later on the, in, after the game, wasn't spoken about... Only found out uh, through looking at Twitter later on after the game to realise what happened. So obviously he gets uh, two weeks, I think, out of, out of that. Um, but nothing's been spoken about it yet. We'll no doubt address it when we get back to the club. Beautifully answered, mate. Sammy, uh, thanks for coming in. The club, club under the pump, the un in review and all of that, and that the form's been ordinary. How are you seeing it? Are you a player who gets involved in that or you try and worry about your own business? Um, nah, I think we're all involved in it as a club. We all get to have our say. And, um, yeah, as you said, it's been pretty tough. But uh, I think this second half of the year is going to look a bit better for us. And uh, we've addressed a few things. And, um, yeah, looking forward to that second half of the year. Hey Sam, your, your year's been great. You're one of the highlights of uh, what's been a struggling yeah. year. And just your, you haven't played 30 games, I don't think, yet. So Melbourne still so... Have you? Yeah, is that right? I don't know. Maybe 30, I'm not sure. under 30, yeah. I think <laughs> it is. And, and just the inexperience uh, yeah, for you. How are you getting through the season? Number one ruck. Uh, it's a tough job for someone so inexperienced. Yeah, it has had its challenges, yeah. um, especially when the team's not going so great either. It can be even harder. But um, no, I think I hopefully I, I think I'm making some yeah. pro progress this year, and um, yeah, just uh, really want to cement my spot as the number one ruck. And um, yeah, feeling feeling optimistic for the second half of the year for me. And tell us about your life growing up. You grew up in England, I believe. Yep, correct. Whereabouts? Uh, East Sussex, yep. down in, near Hastings. And when did you come out to Australia and fall in love with AFL? Uh, when I was about nine, but uh, I didn't fall in love with AFL until I was about 17. I played soccer up until year 12. So. Are you good at soccer? Uh, yeah, I'll say I was alright. He's not on the witness box. <laughs> You're just firing these great. We're good at soccer. Yeah. Come on, you're there for. Right? Yeah, How did you get into AFL then? How did you go um, from soccer at 17 to AFL? So I always wanted to play because my mates at school played footy. Um, but uh, you can't play both, so I was, I was sticking with soccer and then got too tall in the end and those, these blokes are too quick around me so I thought every time I was watching my mates play footy like why don't you just come out and then my older brothers played footy so like yeah just do it and then went out to my local club uh, and then South Adelaide come and saw me and they asked me to come out and try, try with them and worked out alright. He's that tall TJ, he can't even get pants to get down to his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> He's got seven I, knew, I, think, I knew one of you blokes yeah. would say like that. I think that's actually fashion. No, I think they get away with that no. now. Now of course uh, before we get into the handball we've got our traditional joke. Now you'd be familiar with Lou Richards of course. Yes. Uh, the great Lou Richards. Uh, I'm not sure you would be being a soccer player then going into the AFL late. Yeah not massively but yeah do a little bit of research. There, You did some research on Lou. <laughs> No, he didn't. 
<laughs> That's the greatest that the sort of stuff. That was his joke. Yeah, is that yeah. the sort of stuff we get on your podcast? Is it? Give your podcast a plug. Yeah, 200 plus new podcast out at the moment, but now it's going all right with uh, Nick Butler and Dan Gorringe talking a uh, bit of footy, talking a bit of rubbish, and uh, yeah, from uh, Ruckman's perspective. So now nah, I'm enjoying it. Nice. All right, terrific stuff. Now here is Lou Richards with his joke from years gone by. You heard about the uh, two oysters went out in the town. The two oysters went out on the town? town? Yeah, one pulled a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? I didn't hear it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 200 plus. And yet you were joking, you were laughing. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Shall All we? right, let's get Taylor to right up first. So five on your left, five on your right. We'll go with your proper hand <laughs> first and then your opposite hand. Did you get that one, Kane? Move the target. Oh, we're going to move the target. There it goes. So Taylor dry right. up first. Seven. Seven Ooh, is 14. Yeah. Seven is 21. Yeah. Seven, 28. And seven, 35. Yeah. Can you sort of put a little bit more in between Brandy. instead of just the numbers? <laughs> now uh, Sammy Drake is up. All right, up right. Yeah. Yep. On the right. Yep. Oh, big fella. Seven. Goes to seven. Oh. Five. <laughs> goes to 12. <laughs> Five goes to 17. Needs a couple of bullseyes. Oh, Ooh, very close, very 24. close. And finishes with a 7. Oh. <laughs> 31, big <laughs> crazy. We'll see how the oppo goes here. All right, opposite the hand. Left. Four to oh, five. Oh, yeah, for 40. Five, 45. Oh, 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 oh. You're back in it, Samuel. Seven, seven is 52. Five is Ooh, 57. Need a Taylor Drake seven. finishes with a seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's the scenario? The same as what Liber got. Oh. So what's the scenario? Oh, again, <laughs> I knew that would happen. Wasn't a great score from Tony Libertore, I <laughs> seen, yeah? So when you came in and bagged Liber's score... <laughs> no, no, I just what? thought what? Tom Libertore would have the best hands potentially in the league. He might have been up there. So if right. Sam gets five sevens, he wins. What if right. he gets seven fives? That's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Move the Go target. On. Yeah. Seven. There's one of them. He's 38. Oh, that's a seven. seven. That's a seven. There's two. Is 45. Hi. Seven is 52. Two sevens wins it. Come on, Damo. Oh! That's a seven. <laughs> Just catch it. Yes. Hang on, hold it there. 59. He needs a <laughs> You've got to five that. to draw or a seven to win. No pressure. Oh! oh! The same as Tony Liberatore <laughs> Senior. Oh, what he's Taylor Taylor Jerome. Jerome. the bombers, TJ. <laughs> oh. How many reviews can you have in the one year? <laughs> oh, oh, At least hit the board. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sam, <laughs> is, is it moments like this you wish you had a stuck to soccer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Almost getting that 10 rattled me. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, oh, mate. I, 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 well look, I can't <laughs> talk, mate, but I'm feeling for you. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, somewhat dramatic Sunday footy show today. And and uh, just rounded off beautifully by the drama there on the yeah, handball. It was good. It was a good battle. Hey, good you're battle. sort of in the host spot now. You're yeah, not hosting. Yeah, get back over there. <laughs> All right, that wraps it up for this edition of the Sunday Footy Show. Taylor, well done, Sam. It's one that I'm sure you'll talk about on your podcast. <laughs> and uh, take us out. Wherever you may be today, may the sun shine on you. <laughs> <laughs>